Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my ASMR channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make something really cool out of gum wrapper. Now, before we get started, I actually am using a microphone that is connected to a pair of headphones. So if the sound quality sounds better or worse, um, that's why. Hopefully it sounds better. Not sure. So this is really something um, that you can do in class. Really cool. Actually, I had a friend um, teach me how to do this when we were in seventh grade and I've known how to do it ever since so um, yes let's get started so um, the only two things you really absolutely have to have is gum wrappers and paper um, the other items I'll be using in this video is not necessary it's just something that I'm going to be using, but you have to have a specific type of gum wrappers or brand of gum, and that is very simple to get because most gum wrappers come with this type of wrapper, or most gums. So, and also when I take the gum out, I'm going to chew it. So, this is extra um, gum and this is sweet watermelon sugar free for all the people with erases well actually um, if you didn't know this most gums come sugar free anyway and see before I got braces I didn't know that so I'm like I'm not gonna ever be able to chew gum again and then I realized most gums come um, sugar free anyway so you're going to take a piece of gum and what I meant by it has to be a specific type of gum not a specific brand and this is not sponsored or anything but you want to make sure the gum wrapper is the gum wrappers with like the aluminum look to it I know that extra gums come this way, and um, five gum, I think, is that the brand of that's gum? I don't know, it's a really good gum, it kind of tastes like Monster or Red Bull, one of the two, um, but you just want to make sure that your gum comes in um, this aluminum shiny um, layer. There's some gum wrappers that are just like paper, um, but you want to make sure you have this. And like I said, most gums do come with this. So let me go ahead and just pop this in my mouth. I'm trying to chew it because if I don't chew it, it's going to soften and stick to my braces anyway. I'm trying to get it tough. Okay, I think that's enough for now. And I may end up spitting this out if I can't talk with them. Okay, so you have your gum wrapper. And we have our paper. But before I show you, I have this pair of scissors because my paper 
it's messed up and I just wanted to cut it on video because it makes really great sound. I know this is not being cut evenly, but that don't really matter. As long as the real jagged edges are gone. I'll put it this way. So we have our paper. Now I have only tried this out on notebook paper. I'm not sure what other types of paper this would work on. Um, you can try it out, but I haven't, so as far as I know, this is the paper to get. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to spit the gum out. I can't talk. So, we have the gum wrapper. Now, if you take the gum wrapper and you just gently, here I'm gonna try to show you, if you gently tug at it, Okay, so if you just gently tug on any part of it, you're going to see a little rip. Can you see that? A little rip, 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 rip. Now, this is going to end up happening, um, but you can try to avoid it. But um, as you can see, you can kind of see through it. If the individual piece, like this um, little white layer, ends up breaking in half that's fine you'll just have to work with smaller pieces but it's best to get a good rip in so you can tug more of this off at once so basically I'm going to show you this I'm going to do it again so you're just going to you know pull it gently like very gently and you're going to see this aluminum looking part split and then you're just going to peel back the um, shiny layer just like that and then the more the piece the better so don't get little giblets i do recommend getting like the bigger like trying to tear off the bigger pieces if possible so we have this little piece here and you just kind of want to straighten it out now the fun part about this is you can literally stick it anywhere on the paper now if I'm making this video and like everybody already knows about this, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. So hopefully someone out there has never heard of this. And um, you know, if you get bored in class and you have gum wrappers you're not going to use, it's kind of fun. So I'm going to zoom in. So what you're going to do, and this is just a dotting tool for nail polish. But um... I'm going to see if it works, I've never tried it, but if, like I said, you really don't have to have anything, because when we did it in school we didn't have anything, I think we might have used a pencil, but basically the type of material that this comes with, it basically sticks to the paper, so you basically are just going to scratch it on to the paper and I'm gonna so I'm just scratching and you can see these little here these little bumps you can kind of do the finishing touches with your finger if you're using a tool Um, I wish I had the colorful gum wrappers. I did have a whole bunch. I might actually have them here and I might test it out um, as well. Let me just look in these little drawers. No, I don't guess I do. But anyway, we'll work with what we got. So let me zoom back out. So I'm going to show you again. You just take the gum wrapper and you just gently pull with two fingers and then you're going to see a split. 
split. You see the split? Now, um, if I happen to be lucky while I'm doing this and nothing breaks underneath, I'm going to purposely, ooh, sorry guys, I'm going to purposely break it to show you how you can fix it. So, we just get our little, that makes really great sound. And like I said, the cool thing about this is, you know, you can kind of just stick them randomly wherever on the paper. And, um, you know, maybe if you start at, like, the, if you want to do the thing school, you can, like, start at the beginning of, like, a school year. And then by the end of the year, you can have, like, the whole page filled up, and then you could say, this is all my gum wrappers that I've had throughout the year and it can be like a cool little memory thing I don't know so just like that um, you can really use anything that you find works best when like trying to scrape this but you, it, you literally have to like scrape it you can do it with your fingernails and um I'm going to kind of prove to you that it don't really come off. Um, what well, it, I guess it does come off when you like purposely try to peel it off. But um, unless you purposely try to peel this off, it's not gonna come off. It's pretty much you know staying on there. So now I'm going to sh purposely show you what happens if you um, tear it all the way through. So we have this and say that happens. You see, you can see my, you can see through it, you can see my finger. So really the only thing you could do here is you could just, um, and this might be a little harder, and also I have wasted a lot of gum wrappers because of this. So that's why you really want to make sure you're just pulling that one little layer. But eventually you can start peeling off around it. And it might might take a little while but eventually you'll get there but anyways this piece is coming up here so like I said the bigger the piece the better um, or if you purposely want small pieces you know that that's okay too it doesn't really matter it's just the bigger pieces are going to be um, you know easier to get to lay down on the paper. So now I'm going to show you, without using my dotting tool, how you could do it. So let me make sure it's in frame. Okay, right here. So see, if I was just to rub it, it's let's see, it's not going anywhere. It's actually bending. So you just take your fingernail. If you have nails, if you don't have nails, if you're going to be doing this at school, I'm sure pencils would work. Okay, guys, I'm so very sorry, but the camera cut out. So, like I was saying, I'm sure you could use a pencil or um, anything that you have in your book bag that's kind of like at a point or edge to it. As long as you don't rip it in the process, don't, you know violently scratch um, but depending on the tool you use you might end up getting these little little lines in it but I'm sure if you work with it a little bit you can kind of work them out and um, you want to make sure that the shiny side is facing upward when you're doing this um, well actually I'm not too sure if you have to um, I haven't tried it the other way but like I said, this is something that like, if you have 
gum wrappers that you keep in your book bag that you don't use, which for me, I always use them because I can't chew gum long, because I get tired of them real easily. Um, so I always have to keep my gum wrappers. Um, but if you're the one that always like chews gum and you don't ever really use your gum wrappers, this is something cool you can do. And or, um, you know, if you have friends that um, don't use theirs, you can kind of collect from theirs. And basically the whole gist of this, and I'm not going to do the whole thing, um, but the whole gist of this is um, just basically something, it, I don't know if you consider it fun, um, but if you're bored in class or just bored at home, this is something cool you can do. Um, and you can kind of just like keep laying, uh, laying it. I don't really know if you can layer it on top of each other. Let me try that real quick. Um, I've never, see the bigger the better. Okay. Let me just test this out for you guys and see if you can layer on top of another. But like I said, I don't know what it is, but something about scraping it kind of like embeds it into the paper. So I guess it does work, but you're just going to get like a thicker bulge. Okay, so. Um, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you've ever heard of this, um, if you've ever tried it yourself or if you're planning on trying it after you watch this. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and please subscribe down below for more ASMR videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!